Now we're national champions. The words can't describe. I kind of feel like it's starting to kick in now a little bit more. But this is the best feeling. How long ago does that seem? Congrats, man. That Duke game. It seemed like forever. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. Um, Sunday made like one official week. Right. right. And I got 12 weeks for the Bone Hill. Or 8 to 12 weeks for the Bone Hill. And uh, I'm just waiting for it to heal. You know, they're telling me that there's not a lot of swelling. The scar looks great. And just hearing that from the doctors, I'm moving my leg, I'm bending it, doing a lot of things that they weren't expecting, you know. That, that's big for me, and hopefully it's, it's, it's a lot it's a lot faster than eight to twelve weeks. After the semester ends, will you come back home, or will you stay up in Louisville? Or? Uh, wherever they want me to rehab, I'm gonna try to wherever the best rehab is. That's where I'll be. At this yeah. point, we're national championships, and we gotta get back to being trying to be national championship next year. So outside of school, the biggest thing right now is basketball, and I'm gonna try to get in the gym or rehab or wherever they got me is the best that's exactly where I'm gonna be. Are they are they unwrapping it every day and checking it to make sure? Yeah they're all unwrapping they got um, kind of kind of like certain areas that they got it specifically wrapped up yeah and they got this over it you know I got a metal rod at the top and one at the bottom which are about done healing and okay. right now it's really just the, 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 the scar that actually has to actually heal okay. like, once that heals, that I'll really start start my rehabilitation. How good does the net feel around your neck right now? I can't stop touching it. You know, I said I would let my dog play with it, but I, I might take that back because I can't. I don't want to take it from around my neck. You know, but it's just the best feeling in the world. You know, these guys went out there for hard. Montrez, Payton, Shane, Gorgie, Tim, all those guys are really great players. You know. And at this point, we just got to get back in the gym and start working for next year. Did you feel the building shake when Montrez made his alley -oop? I kind of felt like the run was going to come. And they started, I started, I saw number two. I, I honestly don't remember his name, but he was just killing us. And he's a, he's a, he's a great player, you know. But once, them, once that fatigue started kicking in, those shots were going to fall. I remember early in the second half, they draw the player for him. And it just went. It's a wide open look. He really went. He was five for five at the time, and he missed it like completely short. You know, I'm like, all right, those legs, those legs started kicking. I kind of took note. Like I really just watched him the next media timeout. He's really just stretching his legs, and trying to get loose as quick as I can. I'm like, all right, as long as we keep Trey on the on the on the loose, we don't let him get loose. We'll be fine. You know? Thanks, Kevin.